Hi guys and welcome to Peter Ray's Adventures. Welcome to my latest video and welcome to the live stream. What I'll do, I'll tell you the topic is new light for better photos. I've got my new light that I brought from Amazon. Epsom meetup details, meetup in Epsom, questions. And at the end, we'll do this quiz. Quiz, 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 quiz time. So any questions you've got, I've got a bone to pick with BCP in a sec because I've received a mysterious package from BCP because it said BCP on the um, the back. And the address checks out. Obviously, I've opened it, but I'll sort it out with BCP in a sec because he sent me a mysterious package, Mr. Bumcrack. And anyway, let me just get onto the right screen. Uh, who do we have? Mysterious BCP. Yes, he's got his smileys on. Smileys. He has. Uh, Stu Mandry, Chrissy, Daniel. I did see um, Mimi, Mia Mia, Kelly, which flipping fantastic finds, and Richard Payne. Not too bad. Spent a whole eight pound. Come back with about 70 or 80 pound. Wow. Nice one. Nice one. I have no idea, Stu, if it's ticking. It's, it... <laughs> lol, BCP, lol. Yeah. Pepsi and Shirley, or, or whatever they called it on Only Fools and Horses, the blow up dolls. Anyway, no, it's not ticking. Not yet. It was weird, though. I was like, I was like, what's this, what's this package? I ordered nothing. Anyway, I'll get to that in a bit. Uh, all right. Derek, cheers, popping in. So, what I did the other day, because when you saw, if you haven't seen my video, I did a video of how I set up and um, sort out my pictures, because I'm re-photographing all my pictures. I'm going to be doing them. I've done a few, like quite a few, probably about 30% of them. Anyway, I managed to pick up one of those lights. I think I think George Ross, the legendary George Ross uses a light or two. I've got... T-Y-C-K, Trika, light. I've, I've opened it. It's a dimmable LED flat panel light. Let me get into it. It's one of those little things. Um, I've, all right, Flipping Hustler, cheers popping in. I think I paid like £30 something. It was overall £36. I'll li link it down below in the comments section. It's, it's one of these oh, little lights. So what you've got is the battery pack goes to the back. Uh, you've got the... You've got the light and the volume. I'm not sure if you can see that. My phone's going off again. But I look at them a bit. The battery goes in, in, in there. Um, let me just... Uh, DBG, cheers popping in. I appreciate that. Also, comes with a battery. Let me put the battery in. I'll show you it working. Let me find the right way to go. Because I sent pictures to people all, already with it. There we go. On. And you can turn it up. Look, I won't sh blind you, but. Woo! I know what you can do. I'm sorry about that. Well, drop, drop in the thing. Um, turn it different colours. Like right, Chris Beach is popping in. Yeah. Anyway, let me take that out. Got a little button there at the back to take the battery out. You've also got like these bits here. You can put a stand in. So here's the stand. Okay, um, BCP. That little stand. These ones you can put in um, on a on a tripod, sort of thing. So they go into here via this back bottom. Let me just put it in. Like here. And then you can manoeuvre up, up, up and down by using this little nozzle here. 
the little nozzle. And then, let me find my bits and pieces. I've got it here somewhere. And this little device is just for doing smaller photos. You can put it onto um, cameras with a camera light. All right, Rubek, or Rebecca, I should say, you must have a day off today. All right, Alan's just popping in. And then you, you slide this into, into here. It was easy to set up, really easy. It took, took about five minutes. And then you've got one of these. So you can connect it also at the, at the bottom um, here to a tripod. So if you want to take bigger photos of like um, Lego houses or Star Wars, big Star Wars figures. So, uh, hi, sorry, I missed what the lights for YouTube. No, it's for um, my eBay photos, um, Kelly. Take jump up in a minute. Baking in it. And it's like little, like a little one that George Ross used, but he used a more expensive one. Uh, uh, and that. Obviously, there's the charger, the um, cables in the bottom. It's, it's not too bad, really, to be honest, with the light. I'll just show you. Because at the back, you've got the charging cables. Oh, let me just turn that off. Charging cables there. It tells you how much charge you've got left. We've got three. And then at the back, you've got the, the light. You can change it to different settings. Mood. A bit of your old mood swings. Hi, Laura. So that's just for like my eBay photos. I can use it for my um, camera, but I'm not going to because I'm not an explorer. Like, like I'm not an urban explorer, that sort of thing. So I don't see the point in that. So... I can connect it to a tripod. Yes, Stu, boy. I've had quite a few messages today for um, offers and stuff, but nothing concrete. And that goes and can fit into some of the um, tripods. My tripod works in there. So just, just screw it in. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a very good thing. And then that bit comes off so you can take this off. So £36, I think. Something like that. Which DVD did, but she did ask for a sneak preview. She was a sneaky one. Yes, Peter, trying to list but not getting very fast today. Oh, fair enough. We all do that. I don't know how BCP survives with a million streams. You do, I sure did. But, yep, yeah, because DVD asked for it, didn't she? <laughs> um, I'll put it away a bit later on. I'll just pop it down there for now. Let me just give it the old. <laughs> Alright, Laura, just popping in. Nice, no, cool. Um, yep, so not too bad. Obviously not the one that George Ross used, but it'll be good because I can take photographs in at, at night and more because I'm experimenting with photos. So I thought, uh, why not? Sort of thing. Um, Amazon. What I will do is I will link the Amazon one, it's uh, in the description below after this chat. That one, Trikers, T Y C K A. It's about like 30 odd pounds, 36 pounds. There's a few ones. Not listed a thing today yet, um, Sage, Chris B. Testing now, nah, replacing the laser in the PS3. Oh, cool. And not difficult to do, really, to be honest. Yeah, because uh, DBG suggested I get one for, for the photos. Yeah, because I was thinking of getting one a while ago, but I just thought, uh, I I'll be all right. You know the British saying, you'll be all right. Ha! <laughs> oh, that's true, true. I'm very true, DBG, yep. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm used to that. A anyway, but yeah, I will link the... Um, what it is down below because I can't go to Amazon now and have a check. It would take too long. But I'll put that away later on. So yeah, pretty much any questions do let me know. Um but question what your question is. I don't think I missed any anyone coming in. I did say hi to everyone here. Lovely, lovely. I hope you're having a good day and good kachings. I've just had a few um messages from buyers say I can offer you sound so and all that sort of useless stuff, but sort it all out, but no sales yet. I need to um, 
uh, do some listing. I've got some like photographs to list. Plus this shizzle from PCP. Anyway, uh, so on a chain doing some relist, says Kelly. Okay, yep, tap points. We will be near the end. About quarter to ten to five. Right. I let me this mysterious package from this legend DBG. Right. Anyway, cut a long story short. I opened it. I was like, what the hell is this? Anyway, I was like, okay. And for some reason, he sent me Yu-Gi-Oh cards, monster, uh, Moshi monster ones, and some others. I'm like, the hell? And let me know, BCP, why. He sent me all these. Not just this lot. There's loads of them. I'm, I'm trying to do them without dropping them. I've... It's, it's, it's nice of you, DBG, to do that. La, 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 la. Uh, the, um, BCP, sorry, not DBG. BCP, to do that. I appreciate that. It, it was just weird, because I'm not... I've had a couple of things sent by other um, people before who said, I'm going to send you so-and-so, but no one's actually ever sent me anything just like that. I had some football cards sent um, when they had the auction, Nick and Hills and Andrew's auction, which was Tom uh, from the charity auction. Gee, there's loads of it here. It's, it's, it's like a running buffet of, of stuff, like Yugo cards. Let me know why, BCP, because you're a legend for, for doing it, though, mate. I've got to put it down. I'm, I'm still going. Official rule book. Oh, dear me. Some of them in better condition than others, but look at them. Blimey. They're still, go still coming. I've got to put these ones down here. Oh. Um, there's a tin. Oh, 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 and a load of cards in here. But, yeah, it's, it's really nice of you to do. i got to work out, oh, that's a Spanish one. Let me just try and... Yeah, yeah, you saw that, it's kind of Spanish. I've had some Spanish ones before, and... Um, Japanese ones as well. Had them lying around, says BCP. I knew you liked cards, so I knew you ever do something with them. And nothing about as Yugi cards. All right. Yeah, I'm sure I could do something with them uh, and that. So a lot of things to test with the Yu Gi Oh cards, see whether they're fake or what um, shinies there are, what they are. If they, because um, a lot of the Yu Gi Oh, like Relinquished here, he has. Two or three um, uh, cards that go into one and make another card. So, let's go have a look. Some of these are shinies, but I will get a chance at some point to have a look. And then he sent me these ones. This is one Bigfoot Assault weather, uh, from Dino Saws, Dino Fact File thing. Plus... I don't drop them. Some Star Wars stuff. I will get to a chat in a moment. All right, Alice English, thanks for popping in. Just showing you some stuff that um, BCP stuff uh, gave me, some Star Wars stuff. But I will have a look at some point, see what um, I, I, I can do with them. I'm sure I can get to some stuff with them and bundle them up. And obviously, it's washing monsters. Because if not, I'll put them in Spock. And that's just a few bits and pieces in, in a folder. So cheers for that, BCP. Um, I appreciate that. Uh, much appreciated. It was weird, but uh, fair enough. Kind of used to it. <laughs> that. So I've got them there. Um, need another light to go in above my photo area, says Richard Payne. Something like that would do the job. Yeah, I will link the um, one down below uh, for this light. So it's um, 
T Y C K A. Dimmable 204 LED flat panel light. So look up that one on Amazon. It's very good because it can go onto certain tripods. Um, I've, got, I've got a tripod, it'll fit. A, one I use for my YouTube videos. It's about yay high. So for, for bigger things like um, Lego houses or um, big things, I, I don't know, tall things and stuff like that. Anyway. 29 DBG. Okay, I'm 28. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, thinking Richard fixes. Okay, okay. I said hi to Alice English there. Anytime BCP. Cheers for that, mate. You're a legendary guy. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, I've done them, them, and them. The next one I want to talk about was the Epsom meetup. So let me have a look to see. Oh, there we go. I shall be screen sharing, so I'll probably be dubbed in a bad Chinese um, film when I come back. But have a look, see if I can screen share. Uh, do, 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 do. Give me one second to screen share the windows. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, we're sharing that one. There we go. Let me know if you can see that screen. It's the Epsom, the South East Rochelle Meetup, um, Saturday the 23rd of March. Um, hopefully you can see that screen. So what I've done, because I noticed the one in Bristol and there was one in uh, Newcastle. I'm still hoping to go to one in Bristol. And 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 now I've got to confirm near the date when I, if I can come or not. I should be able to. I don't, don't see why not. Anyway, uh, and that. So I thought because I'm thinking a lot of resellers live in the southeast. It's, it's open to anyone. By by the way, anyone can come. Um, if you want to bring your husband, your wife, whatever else, or just yourself, do a bit of reselling, or it's open to anyone from anywhere. If around the world, as long as you can get to the um, place. Because what I've done, also, guys and girls, is with, with that meetup, it's on the Faraday pub, 2 Church Street, Epsom, Nasty Dress, da, 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 from 12 pm. It opens from 11, the pub, until 1 am <laughs> on um, Saturday. Every Saturday. Because I've been there quite a lot. It's more of a gaming pub. So they do a lot of games, like they have consoles and stuff. And certain nights, and I think I played on Saturday night before games consoles. So I will show you where they are. I've, I've got the map up here to sh sh show you where it is. It's from like I think it's got like Google Maps or whatever it is, and then the website that is. I'll get that up as well in a second. Let me pop that to there. Is, is, is that going to work? Uh, do, 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 do. I don't know if that's going to work. Oh, oops, a daisy, wrong button there. No, I don't want to change it. No, oh, no, it's just, just a website. Okay. Anyway, I'll go away. No, I don't want to have changes. So, yeah, pretty much anyone can come to this meetup if you like. Um, there's a few people there meeting in Faraday from 12 onwards, staying. If you want to stay over, there's oh there's the website i'll put it on there uh we've got a central hotel which is a travel lodge and we've got a premier inn so here's the actual pub the faraday home what's on they tell you what's on food and drink you can go to drink some food menus make an inquiry it's not a bad place, really. That's what they've got. Late license, which is the best place around. Because there is a few pe um, pubs and stuff in, in Epsom, but all expensive. This is a, the, the one that's the best overall. So you can see what they do. Food, function area, baby changing, real ale, cocktails, that sort of thing. Some smoking areas, outside, stabled, food, all that. 
Um, let me just find the chat. Let me know here as well if you can come. Or if you're from Facebook, let me know via the chat chat um, event for the reselling of Epsom. If not, catch me in one of the, the videos if you're not on, because I'm, I'm not on Instagram myself. And obviously, either have a message me on, on private message if, you, if you're coming or if you can't come and that. It only allowed me to invite 40, six, for 47 because well, one's me. There, there's a few coming as well. So, and that sort of thing. So let me know if you are coming. Here's the actual pub here. Um, well, what it looks like inside. Uh, did you some food they do? I'll just show you a few. Little outside bar area, the front. I just just show you a few. And uh, there we go. Look, games consoles. It's it's like gaming thing. They got you usually have a gaming console out at some point, which you can can play. Food, the drinks. Yeah, just show you a few some pieces. It's changing there quite dramatically over the, the years. And there's a the long bar. That sort of thing. So, yeah, pretty much for that. I won't show all of it. Here is the Premier Inn, which is not far. Let me show you some of the pictures. <laughs> they've got a bar in there. Because cause they've, they've got a, um, a pub in there, like a brewer's face. It's not great. I chose it, the Epsom um, one, because of the fact that the uh, charity shops and that. So here's the travel, travel lodge. Uh, the Premier Inn here, you see it there, and where we are going is here. In, in Church Street. So it's only about, what, tw 20 minute walk? 25 minutes, chat shops along here. So let me have a look. Charity shops. I'll go read the chat in a sec. Uh, anyone chatting there? I don't think I'll make it to any of the meetups. Shame they're so close together. It was, it was great. Oh, it's a shame, um, <coughs> Kelly, because it'd be good to meet you again and Barry if you want, could, could come. Gonna try and go to Bristol, but I'm not sure about it. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Yeah, it's a, Bristol's about what two, two and a half hours away. Quite a bit of money, but I'll see. Um, and uh, let me just have a look because I will show you all the, all the charity shops: Cancer, Prince Alice, Oxfam, British Heart, Queen Elizabeth. Um, where are we going here? There's cancer research. It's all on one length level. So it's only a small one, cancer research. Want to bring any post parcels down? I'm sure they're open on Saturdays. You could check that on the post office website, Epsom Post Office. CX, Oxfam. The best chat shop in Epsom, I feel myself. Uh, scope is here. Got a scope. It's a good, good one. They do cheap books and cheap uh, games and DVDs and stuff. I've got a little section of um, clothes. British Heart is expensive rubbish, but you, you can find your thing here and there. The QEF there. Princess Alice Hospice is not there anymore. It's moved around the corner. So here's the QEF. You want to go around the corner. Here's the Faraday around the corner. Oh. There, there, there. Um, here is the paint. It's a fern shop, but they do a lot more now. Other than furniture, half of it is now for the other shop, and then the other half is for furniture. Uh, 
I've done the Farrow Dodge. Close that one. And that one. The, the travel lodge is here. It's right next to the um, station. So we've got a station nearby. And that's up to here. So have a look. I've provided two for the um, ones. And this is probably about, what, 10 minute walk. It's over here. About 10 minute walk or so. Or was it, oh, no, oh, no, sorry, sorry, it's over here. About, about a 10 minute walk to the pub there. And then you're in the centre of town, just over here. So from here, where we are, it's um, there to here, to Faraday here. So not too bad, realistically. So if, if you want to come, let me know via the um, page on the chat chat or the private message or if you're not on Facebook, one of the um, chats. I'm always in a chat somewhere and something like that. Um, uh, uh, and all that. So, yeah, do let me know. So let me get back into, if I can, stop sharing. There we go. Brilliant. Let me read the chat. Um, what do you, oh, he's not on Insta, is he? Crispy. Peter Cummins, my son. <laughs> yep. All right, all right, dude. Cheers for popping in. Not sure. I booked to go to Bristol. I do have something on the weekend of 23rd of March. Unless that changes, I can't make it. Sorry. I booked to go. Oh, I see. So basically, you're saying. Oh, I was saying on mine, yeah. All right, Chris B. No, that's fair enough, dude. Yeah, that's fair enough. Because I think, like, what Kelly says, Hitchin is probably, what, the easiest to get to. Because Bristol's, like, the other side of the country for me. And it's more expensive, to be honest. But I'll, I'll see. I'll see what's happening and this, that, and the other. And that's, that's why I thought, like, a, a lot of people say they can't make it. So I thought, I'll make one. If you can, that'd be brilliant. And if, if not, I understand. And that sort of thing. So, yeah, pretty much. I've shown what Chris um, BCP has um, got, gave me a load of Yu Gi Oh cards and stuff, and Moshi Monsters and all that sort of stuff, and tins and all that. And my new light, Peter, you can view it back in the live chat replay. I've got a top trivia to do in 10 minutes or so. So, any questions, do let me know. Also, do go and subscribe to anyone in the chat. Like, um, who's got the channels like Kelly, Fantastic Finds, Tap Peller, which is Derek, Flippin' Hustler, Chris B. I think that's it at the moment. Oh, and Rubex has got a channel as well. So go and subscribe to all the channels in this post by either clicking the three dots, go to, to channel, or if you're on a mobile phone, click on their page, their name, and go to their channel and go and subscribe. Do some legendary. Um, what to call it? Leg legendary videos and that. Any other questions? Do let me know. I'll just log out of Facebook while I'm here. There we go. Well, yeah, I've talked about new light, the photos, and details. Because I'm trying to get the detail, um, the photos a lot better with my new light. Um, at right, Calf Palmer, cheers popping in. Uh, we're going half an hour. You can go back on your live chat replay. I've I've shown my new light and what BCP has, has kindly sent me, um, and the meetup details, which you can go back and have a look. Um, yeah, talking about that. Yeah, it's it's difficult though with a lot of things, but uh, it, it's just what it is because there's always one big one that happens and the, the splinter ones come off. And that, but yeah, we'll see. Mm. Ah, cool, cool. Um, what else I've got to talk about? Yep, share whatever you like in here. That's perfectly fine. How many people watching? Oh, I can't tell. I've got uh, gone off the thing. Yeah, I knew I was out of sync. Um, Alan, it happens when you come off. Um, uh, when you come off doing screen share. 
Can't be bothered to make a new one. So it doesn't really matter. That. Like a bad dubbed Chinese film. Any questions, do let me know. I'll be, I'll be happy. Any of my videos or how you do your photos. I will link the actual... Um, uh, down below the light that I've got. This light. The T-Y-C-K Trika light. I'll link that down below. Oh, okay, cool, Cap. I'm brilliant, brilliant. Just refresh or go to the end and that sort of thing, and it should be okay. And that sort of thing. So, yeah, pretty much. Any other questions, do let me know. I don't think I've missed anything. Uh, no, I haven't, actually. So, let me know if anyone's going to any of the meetups. That would be cool. And that. And that, so, yeah. Um, I think, like, later on... What I will do on Friday, actually, with, with a new light I've got, this light here, nice little light, I will do like a, a video, like I did for my um, pictures. Grab a few pictures I need to photograph again. Do, cheers Alan for that, some photos for that, uh, and, and then go through and show you this and the photos from what it was compared to now, and then through the editing process, so I edit, edit the photos afterwards. So I'll do that on Friday. Yeah, Friday, probably at, um, late afternoon. So do look out, do look out for that one. <laughs> That's a laugh. I did that video going around Surbiton, which is like really South London, proper South London, not far from Kingston upon Thames. Anyway, with the editing software that I use, I couldn't fathom out like. Because I can never tell how loud the actual music is. And I did a bit new bit of music, like electronica, dub, dubby, dance sort of music. Well, ah, why not? I always do some quiet music. And I didn't realise, because I had to go out, because I play bowls. Um, that sort of thing. Play bowls um, at a bowls club near where I live, not far from Tolworth. And that. Yeah, anyway, and... I went, rushed out to do that, and I did did the, the video. I let it go. And people were saying, "Oh, it's too loud." It's like I looked at I looked at it back and gone, "Ah, it is very loud." I, it was coming quite quiet. So what I need to do, louder the actual song is, turn it down just very slightly, so it doesn't blast everyone's ears. Like Graham Nichols on the tat chat said, it "Blasted his ears out." I was like, "Ah," but yeah. Anyway, you didn't meet Cheryl Cole, did you? Mental hangover. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't too bad, actually, Peter Cummins. Expensive, though, but I do expect it. Like, I was chatting to a guy on my, on my video, a post um, on my video, a uh, Surbiton video, and, and we were chatting about how, like, um, that the, like, I was saying to him, like, how certain charity shops, like, the older people work in there, they won't understand as much about the eBay side of things. You get someone young in there, they go, oh, that would be nice for eBay. Because a lot of their stores, uh, charity shops, have got eBay pages and that. Like, like the main ones, that sort of thing. And I was, I was chatting to him. I can't remember what his name was, but I'll, I, I won't divulge it, even though I can't remember for, 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 for like security reasons. And I was like, okay, I'll go in there and have a look, look at these main ones. Like, oh. And like, you sometimes go in there, younger people are in there, like, oh, this is... Just for sound so and then you go and let, say like I don't know, just for example, a bunch of Yugo cards for a fiver, and in one charity shop it's five pounds, and in the others it's twenty five. There's no rhyme or reason for that. Like a lot of things don't get put out or do get put out of sort of thing. I was like, oh, but yeah, it's just the way it all is. To be honest, but yeah, it's not a bad place really. I don't go very often because it's quite expensive, but here and there. Same with Kingston Pond Thames, it's just mega out there, really is. But because they had a coat sale, was it Counter Research? I was showing a video. Yeah, I think so. And there was one on for £49 in a coat sale, and they reduced it to 27 I think. I think it says 27 That It was really weird to, to cause, cause I've got a big fat ass camera out. I ain't got a GoPro, nothing small. Or oh, I didn't use phone. Anyway, and I was like, oh, okay, it's weird. And it's like 27, I think it said on there. 
weird too. Like, because like, I can't wait for the car boots. Because I this Saturday coming, I've got a jumble sale. Uh, we Epsom, I think it's the Epsom Methodist Church, something like that. I go to that one, and then car boots should start in the next few three or four weeks or so, something like that. So yeah, pretty uh, similar sort of thing. But yeah, it was good to go to another place, to be honest. I've got to try again, because I haven't been to Tolworth charity shops for a long time. There's a few in Tolworth. But I did go into the Philcroft Trust. I think it's the Fircroft Trust or something like that in Surbiton. And they were very, very, very good prices. I only got a couple of ties, but yeah. Um, yeah, I've not been told for a while. I need to, need to get down Broadway, <laughs> crappy Broadway, to sort out at some point. I will, I'm next month or so, when the weather's better. Uh, I'm sure I have a jumble sale on Saturday. Oh, fair enough, uh, Chris B. That's cool. Hopefully get a lot of stuff. I've just got to remember, like, to take coins and, and, and like, low change and bags and stuff and, and trolleys. But I, I won't be filming or anything like that. Um, last time I was in Newcastle, says crispy, a couple of days plus mental hangover. You do indeed. Not been, but <laughs> last time I went to Newcastle was when I was younger, like, what, 12, 13? I don't know, because I've got family from around here. I think I went to the Metro Centre, which is near the centre, the Metro Centre. I mean, it's near, near the centre of it. Yeah. Um, I've only been there twice, says crispy. Similar with results. <laughs> Lol. Um... Richard Payne says he's got a tabletop sale this Saturday. Locally, rarely ever see them advertised. Yeah, I don't either. Not particularly. It's just, I found it on a, if you, there's a local radio station called Radio Jackie. They operate out of Tolworth Tower, a big tower in Tolworth. Um, and that. And I saw it on their website. I was just having to look through. Because I was looking for what Nick and Andrew go on. Jumble sale trails, and I, I, I roundly found it because they think it were jumble sale in, in, in Google. Came with Radio Jackie. I was like, oh, okay, I'll have a look. I saved it onto my phone. What time it is? There is actually two one in Tolworth at a scout hut and one in Epsom. But by the time I finished Epsom and gone round twice and get the car and go to Tolworth, I won't make it because it's very, very similar times within like what I think it's just the start of dates within an hour of each other. Or half an hour, I think, something like that. So I won't make that one, which is a shame, but it's the way it goes. Let me know if you've got any questions. Now, hopefully, let me know about the meetup. That'll be cool because many people, as possible, will be appreciated if they come. And that one, because it'll be a good, good, good event. Like, I like to meet new people and stuff. And, and now you go around the charity shops, have a look, like I did in Hitchin. So I'll probably do a little vlog from it and see who comes. I know one person said they're coming, but. Yeah, just let me know and that'd be cool. I'll put it on the um, Facebook group, Tat Chat, near the time, a couple of weeks before, and then I'll refresh it each week after that. And that, just, just to remind you there. But obviously, as people say, they can't come, which is fair enough, to be, to be honest. Um, and that one. So, yeah, that's all I've got to say about that. Just now, what I'll do, get a pen and pen. Get a bit of paper out. We'll do the quiz. So everyone get your thinking caps on. Your brain's ready. Uh, quiz. And how many tap points do you think you're going to get? 42, 10, go about 15 minutes or so. I'd like to have the last five minutes for other bits and pieces. I'm not like add Rob Robinson who goes off on one. I like to try and structure it. Whether it go to plan, who knows. But... Um, let me get some good questions here. Oh, I've done a lot. Let me find. So, get your thinking caps on, Kelly. See if we get some tap points. Because it's very difficult in Nick's chat to get tap points. It really is. I find it ever so difficult. Because the time you've thought about your answer, there's 50 of them anyway. Um... Uh, I don't know, I don't do that one.
Oh, there we go. Okay, Peter Cummins. Yeah, he, he comes for the quiz. Last time he came in, he won. First question is, which cartoon character has a pet snail called Gary and lives in a pineapple? Um, which cartoon character has a pet snail called Gary and lives in a pineapple? So I'll wait for a few answers. Yes, Kelly, you'll get 20 tap points. He, he sure does. He missed three of my answers. It's weird because... I've had a few answers correct, and he's missed them. But it's just the way it goes. But, yeah, it's hard. So which cartoon character has, has a pet snail called Gary and lives in a pineapple? Um, Stu's gone for SpongeBob. Kelly's gone for Bunchbob Square. <laughs> Spon SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Uh, I know what that means. Charlie Brown. Pete Cummins has gone question, Spongebob. The answer is Spongebob Squarepants. That will render in. Yeah, you can see there you go, Spongebob Squarepants. So, the answer to that one, Stu got that right. Alice English. Uh, oh, it's Stu Mandry. Uh, do you want me to? Actually, no, I won't. I'll, I'll leave it like that for now. That's fair enough. Too old for that. Okay, and don't knock it, BCP. Only have one tap point. Very difficult. Super quick chat. Um. Okay. Which TV? Lovable loser has a plonker for a brother and like things lovely jubbly. So which TV lovable loser had a plonker for a brother and a love and liked things lovely jubbly? Is it time you made yourself a cup of shoe? No, <laughs> what trying to get him to bugger off? Yeah, it's fair enough. Lol, Kelly, trying to get to tap points. Okay, I'll give that a few seconds. So we've got Richard Payne says Del Boy. Peter says Del Boy. Uh, Stuart says Del Boy Trotter. So it's Del Boy Trotter. The answer is I'm dropping everything. Oh, what says it? Del Boy Trotter. Because you can, you can see that, yeah. So let me have a look. I think that was Richard Payne says um, Del Boy first. So I don't mind if it's Del Boy or Del Boy Trotter. That's fine. I understand what what you mean. One Richard, two. I got one point. So Stu and Richard are on one. I go to about five two. And obviously Kelly's correct. Cass correct, and Alan's. Star fuck is correct. Oh, which TV channel is home of the witty banter? So which TV channel is home of the witty banter? Yay! Tap points all round. Which TV channel is home of the witty banter? As our name is Alf. Oh, yeah, I know you. Manage two, manage two. This time next year, we'll be millionaires. Oh, seven seconds, are we? It's probably a thing. If you refresh it, Crispy, you'll be all right. Be all right. Which TV channel is the home of the witty banter? Of witty banter. Manage two, manage two. Au revoir. Uh, when, when he says hello. And then bonjour, when he says goodbye. Uh, Richard and Kaylee's gone Dave. I'll wait for a few more seconds, see if anyone gets the home of the witty banter. TV channel. Few more seconds. Three, two, one. On my screen, it's Richard Payne. He's got another tap point. Sorry, Kelly, you're almost there. Come and Stu, Richard's got a point. Oh, no, 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 no. Cut, cut, cut that short, cut that short. Sorry, Richard. i just seen Peter Cummins has gone in, in quick. 
Yes, yes, yes. I missed that one. Peter Cummins there has got um, Dave. There he is. Peter Cummins has come with Dave. There we go. Peter Cummins has got that correct. He's got one tap point. Uh, Kelly, Richard, Stu and Peter Cummins. So what you do, Chris B, is refresh it and then it should be okay. Oh, which fictional English country... Uh, sorry, I, I write that. <laughs> write an official complaint, yeah. Which fictional English county was the home of DCI Tom Barnaby? So which fictional English county was the home of DCI Tom Barnaby? So let me know. In the, thank God you know it's writing a complaint, lol. Yeah, fair enough. I don't re realise you, your name. Like, oh, Dave. So which fictional English county was the home of DCI Tom Barnaby? Think about fictional counties, deaths. I know it, it's not. There's been a murder. Been a murder. That's the wrong one. You want the right one. Was that Peter Ray's Adventures? What well, fictional county was home with? <laughs> Lol. Correct. Pretty much. What is that? What you said? No, no, no. Oh, I've started looking at notes boards and shops now. I've found Chris. Oh, we're talking about um how to find um different car boots, jump sales, and that sort of thing. Uh, Peter Cummins and Chris B come with mid midsummer. Kelly's midsummer. Calf. Richard Payne's midsummer, where one person dies every week. I on my screen, Chris B has got in there first. No, you wouldn't. All these ex celebrities, right? Going to mid summer for a bit of the old, you know what? In the storyline, they get killed off. But yeah, it's a good series though, because there, there's a lot of good um, crime dramas. Touch of Frost, uh, Midsummer Murders, and all the rest. Like even Death, Death in Paradise is okay. Oh, witty banter. Am I home? Fair enough, Alan. Um, let me get some good ones. I think we've had that one. Yeah, yeah, I've had some of these. I, I, I should really mark off which, which ones we, we've had. Um, no. Oh. Which 1990s TV show was the first in the UK to feature live music by Nirvana and Oasis? So which 1990s TV show was the first in the UK to feature live music by Nirvana and Oasis? So I'll wait a few more seconds for that. Of course you wouldn't want to live there. Cool, you'll, you'll be, out, be out of it. Mm -hmm. And what do you, what do you, oh, I'll see. Okay, a few more seconds. 90s TV show, first in the UK to feature live music by Nirvana and Oasis. So, Pete Cummings gone the word. Kelly's Jules Holland. Kath's gone the tube. But a few more seconds. Uh, Alan's gone the tube as well. The answer is da da da. What is it? I find it about the word. So. Peter Cummins, so come here quick and got the one right, the word. So Peter Cummins on two, Stu's Mandy's on one, Richard Payne's on one, and Chris B's on one. So, <laughs> for, sorry about that, Kelly. Trying to get some good one. First aired in 2001, what was the fictitious name of the office that was subject of the bbc comedy series the office so first aired in 2001 what was the fictitious name of the office that was the subject of the bbc comedy series the office so what was that office called in the office 
I've, I've, I've rarely seen The Office, to be honest. I'm not a fan of um, uh, the guy that does, does all the old thing. I forget what his name is now. So, first day in 2001, what was the fictitious name of The Office that was subject of the BBC comedy series, The Office? Uh, Cal's got no idea. It was a paper company. No, I've re rarely watched it either. It's the same extras. Ricky Gervais. Not, not really a fan, but... Okay, give me a few more seconds. Oh, Stu Man is back. Of course they're Googling it. Give me the... The Slough Pave Company. Okay. Give me, give me 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Apparently it was Renum Hog. Renum Hog. So W R W E R N H A M Hog. Renum Hog. For some reason. Well, that's quite a hard one. I tried to pick easy and hard. Nowhere, no, nope, nowhere close. Um some of these we've done already. Oh, there we go. People who um I, I can't I can't say that because which TV character returned to the dumping ground where she had grown up to look after the children who live there? So which TV character returned to the dumping ground where she had grown up to look after the children who live there? So if you watch the original series which featured the dumping ground, you'll know who it is who returned there to uh, look after children and live there. Because I used to watch that programme back in the early 2000s all the time. Alice gone Tracy Beaker. Kelly's Tracy Beaker. Any else coming in? So the, the dumping ground, who returned to the dumping ground, basically? Tracy Beaker, no idea. Okay. Ah, stick with a dump, lol. Oh, um, okay. Alice gone, Tracy Beaker. Kelly's Tracy Beaker. Cummins, Tracy Beaker. Cass got no idea. Stick with a dump. <laughs> well, if you watch some of them, yeah. Dumping Ground is brilliant. Yeah, I used to watch it when I, um, I crazy flick for it when I used to work with kids and that sort of thing. They had, they had it on years ago, but um, what we what, what we got? Alice English, there we go. Sorry about that, Kelly. Alice English, um, one. So what we do, we have two more questions, two more questions, and then we'll get on to the end part of the, the legendary show. The show. Let me get one, everyone, everyone to know. Oh, agree with everyone else. I agree with everyone else. Does that give me a tap point? Unfortunately not, Alan. A good try, but fortunately not. Mark Lamar and Simon Amstel have both presented which TV quiz show? So I was on BBC Two, used to be. Mark Lamar and Simon Amstel have both presented which TV quiz show? So it's quite a famous song. We would quiz show was named. It had Bill Bailey, one of them, I think. Yeah, and then Noel Fielding came in. Yeah. So, which Mark Lamar and Simon Am still have both presented which TV quiz show? So, Pete Cummins got never mind the Buzzcocks. Chris B's never mind the Buzzcocks. Same with Stu. We have a J in it and all. Kath's got eight out of ten cats. And Phil Jupiter, yep. Can't forget Phil with the weird moustache thing. Hey, right, Paul. Cheers popping in right at the end. We're just doing a little quiz. One more question for the quiz. So you can go back. I've said about quite a lot of things. I've said about the meetup. What Chris B got me. Um, un, uh, surprisingly got me, which is good. And my new light. Um, so. And that one on my screen... Peter Cummins got a tap point first. 
So, God, he's good at these sort of things. Or on my stream, anyway. No wonder I can't get one. Peter answered. He asked, oh, oh, damn, Kelly. Is that your connection again? We need to get you in the room. But if you refresh it. Um... Oh, here's a nice, easy uh, one. Which children's TV program was named after the flag flown when a ship is about to set sail? Yes, Peter, you're psychic. A shame your psychic um, doesn't come with Fortnite, mate. Dave, you're, you're still good. Which children's TV program was named after the flag flown when a ship about to set sail. Uh, Peter Cummins, Blue Peter, same with Richard Stew, uh, Cascon, the Jolly Roger. Always steady. <laughs> I'm joking, man. I'm joking. Yeah, I'm joking, mate. You know I'm joking. No, we have a good time, though. N Nogging the no. Okay, fair enough. The answer to that, that one, the last question, because we're nearly there, is Blue Peter. And did you, Blue Peter? You can see that. So, the overall champion again is Peter Cummins for two weeks. Not running, but two weeks he's won. So, he's got four. Alice English got one. Stu Manji won. Richard Payne won. And Chris B got one. What's that? Um, uh, Kath Palmer. Okay, I must have missed that one. Derek's taking a break from YouTube at the moment, but we're back. Uh, no, that's fair enough. Um, Richard Payne. I kind of wondered where he'd been, but I, I understand. To totally understand that. Um, down ship, yeah. Especially when you, you, many, many hundred uh, years, years ago when, when elephants shat in the room. That was funny as hell, but yeah. Um, yep, that's pretty much the quiz. So, Peter Cummings, you're the quiz champion you're, you're you're a mastermind you're a legendary mastermind um okay we're right at the end so I'll just recap talked about my new lights done the quiz done what chris um bcp got me all these and other bits and pieces and the meetup as well if you want to know about the meetup then go back and have a look all the details will be on the on the screen and down below in the comment section i'll put the meetup um i'm from the chat chat and also the meetup um i will put the link to the hotels and stuff so you can have a look at that in the comments below um don't think anything else to say any other comments let me know okay oh uh, yes chris um beast uh, the <laughs> Peter Cummins, yep, I'll be on there half nine, ten o'clock, something like that. Try and make it on half nine and that. So, yeah, um, I've got a, a video out on Friday to show my lights off. So, do look out for that one and my photos, see how good they will be. Probably Friday early, maybe early evening, late afternoon, something like that. It will only be a short video. I'll show one or two items, not that many. So do like this video, share this video, and subscribe. Hit the notifications bell, smash it and whack it. And that. Oh, do one second. I am indeed Kelly on PS4. Yes, I am. Um, yep, I'm PlayStation 4 for Fortnite and everything else. Get the same. Yep, fair enough. Well, Nick and Andrew is quite a big, big one. So as I say, like, share, and subscribe. Once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video and have fun. Cheers, guys. See you later.